All right, you guys, so I don't know if you guys could see all that swirling and micro scratches in the paint. Hopefully you guys can see it on the camera. I can't really tell from here. So I taped out a little two by two section. Uh, so we're gonna give it a shot right here first. See what happens. All right. What's going on guys? So it's about time to start with this. I've got a bunch of products here that I'm gonna use. Got a bunch of microfiber cloths right there. Two bucket meth this time around. And you guys gave me a bunch of crap for that last time. Um, in this video right here. So let's see what we got here. We got a uh, got the dual action polisher down here. Um, extra microfibers, flying pads, application pads, um, some play bars, washing mitt. Got a quick detailer for the clay bar. Just some water for the polisher. Got some wheel cleaner, some uh, stripper scent. Got some silk shine for the plastics, UV protectant. Got some leather care that Subi Speed sent me actually for the steering wheel. Uh, some instant carnauba wax, some glass cleaner, and then the whole slew of polishing and cutting compounds that we're gonna be using from Chemical Guys. And for this car wash specifically, I'm using dish soap just to remove everything that's on the car so we could have a fresh, um, you know, fresh surface for when we apply the, uh, there it is, the jet seal. So, let's go ahead and get started with this. Hopefully everything goes smooth. And uh, like I mentioned before, I think I'm gonna just focus on one or two panels for now, just to get a hang of it. I think it's gonna take me a long time to do this, especially because it's my first time doing it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wash the car. I didn't bring out the pressure washer. I don't see any need for it, especially because I don't have the foam cannon for it. And it's just gonna make it harder to dry off the water with it. Let's go ahead and get started. Start with some wheel cleaner. Alright, let's get drying. Uh, I won't bore you with that part, so I don't like this part anyway. And uh, we'll get back to you when we're about the clay bar. Alright, so we got, I'm gonna do the glass cleaner now. Alright, now it's time for that clay bar. Get a bit of this. This part's also a bit tedious, it takes a while. Break off a nice chunk of it. Got my towel on hand and my quick detailer. 
to act as the lubricant for the clay bar. First, I'm going to knead it. All right, so we got it nice and flat like that. You guys can see that, but it picks up really fine. I don't know if that's picking up. So fine debris off the uh, the bumper. It's not as bad as I thought, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, clay bar in the car, and I'll get back to you guys after I'm done with that. Don't want to bore you guys with that either. Um, of course, the main attraction is gonna be the dual action polisher, and trying to get all those swirls out, which I'll show you a close up of after I'm done with all this. All right, you guys. So I don't know if you guys can see. All that swirling and micro scratches in the paint. Hopefully, you guys can see that on the camera. I can't really tell from here. So, I taped out a little two by two section. Uh, so, we're gonna give it a shot right here first. See what happens. All right. All right, guys. So, I got everything set up here. I got my brand new microfiber towel. I'm gonna start with the light pad, light to medium, with V36. Take some of the water. I have it to setting one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just and just spread this around. All right, wish me luck. Alright, now we're going to go to the higher speed, start cutting. Wow. So that alone did the trick. I guess it's not as bad in my car. All right, let's check out the difference. All right, do you guys see that? There's still a very, very minor amount of scratches, which with just a little more persistence will go away. Obviously, I only spent like two seconds on that. But if you can see on the left side, or the painter's tape, it's all microfine scratches. On the right side, it's just like glass, like a mirror. This is so exciting for me. All right, I'm gonna start uh, tackling this for the entire hood and see how long this takes. All right, so what I'm noticing is the white actually isn't cutting through all of it. So I'm gonna switch over to the orange 
Um, it's still leaving a little bit of fine scratch that won't come out for whatever reason. So I'm going to switch to the orange pad and stick with the 36 and see where we go from there. Hopefully that works out. Let's see how that did. Can you guys see the difference there from the right to the left? Hopefully. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep going at it because it's gonna take a long time to do this. Um, I don't wanna just make an hour long, you know, video of just me polishing the car. Um, so once I'm done with that, I'll get, I'll come back to you guys and we'll see how it turned out. Um, so, be right back. All right, y'all, so before it gets any darker, I'll finish the hood. Turned out great. Pretty happy with it. Some close close up shots of it. Yeah, it took about maybe uh, almost two hours to do the whole thing, and uh, little two by two sections, maybe even less. But uh, it definitely takes a lot of patience. It's not a very easy task at all. So yeah, I pulled the car back the other way now to do the trunk. Once I'm done with the trunk, I think I'm gonna call it a day with that. Um, just seal the hood in the trunk um, and you go from there. Keep working slowly panel by panel until I get the whole car done. Alright y'all, so I just finished the trunk as well. It looks like glass, like a mirror. Yeah, I think we're going to stop here for now. I've been doing this for about let's see, five hours now. so. All right, y'all, so I wasn't able to finish the whole thing, obviously, so I just did the trunk and the hood. Uh, it came out pretty good. I'm really happy with the results. I ended up going with the orange pad plus the V36. That was the best combination I found. I did start off lighter, and it just wasn't enough. It was it was good, but you can still see some micro scratches um, on the surface if you look hard enough. So this got it going. I also put the jet seal on just the hood and the trunk for now, just to keep those protected. Uh, I didn't put it anywhere else. There's no point. I'm going to end up washing the car again probably next weekend just to... Um, work on the rest of the panels one by one um, Otherwise, I think that's good if you guys have any questions, please comment below if you have any more tips if you saw something I did wrong, please let me know Otherwise make sure you guys like subscribe comment and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out